Hey goodies, Tony here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to wire up a fire alarm. Two wire or four wire. I'll explain how to do it. Okay, so first, you're going to need your alarm. This is my four wire MT. So you got your alarm. Pull station of any kind. This is my 2099. You're going to want to move these to the side for a sec. You'll need your power supply, stripped ends. And the reason I have a little thing on this wire is because you'll see why in a second. But yeah, power supply. An extra wire with also the spliced end. And I'll show you why in a moment. I'll show you why. So now, and a screwdriver, of course, Phillips or flathead. So. Take your pull station, and if you haven't already, unscrew the little contact points. Do not unscrew these, but unscrew these, where the black and red or other colored wires connect. Then, take the end of your power supply. If it's not already spliced, or if it's just a two-wire alarm, then, okay, take this end and put it into one of the points. It does not matter which. Unless otherwise stated, put either wire into either port and screw it in so then it cannot come out. So now it's making contact. And then take your extra wire and put the stripped end, if both ends are stripped anyway, take your stripped end, put it into the port, and screw it in. So now your pull station is done. We don't need that for a while. Then take your alarm. This is my 4-wire MT24. You've seen this in another video, but I actually have it set up as 12 volt because I found out there's a jumper right there, but one of the prongs was broken off, so I switched the uh, the uh, jumper from 24 to 12, and the 12 part had a broken prong, so I stuck a wire in there, and I have to have it taped up to the to the plastic for it to make contact. So now, you see. This is the positive side, and this is the negative side. So, you can tell if a wire is negative or not. The, the negative wire has... Okay, it's stuck. Hang on. The negative wire has a stripe, a white stripe, like that. So take your negative wire. If it's two wire, just plug the negative and positive in. You don't need these splice bridges, and I'll show you what those are for take your negative and put it into either the strobe or horn negative does not matter which takes a, takes a second these are not glued right onto the screw which is kind of sad okay screw that in and I actually have these the bridge end and the power supply wire tied together then take your extra wire and plug it into the positive end Gonna unscrew that a little bit more. I'm in kind of a rush. The previous take took way the previous take took way too long because there were a lot of interruptions. A phone call, distraction. It was really difficult. And then now you're gonna want to take your negative bridge and put it into the strobe or horn negative. It does not matter which one you used. And then screw that in. Then, take the other one. This is actually cut a little too short, so I have to be really careful. I have to actually unscrew this one a lot because it takes effort to get this one in there. I have to flip it over because these little contact points can actually fall down, making it easier to uh, put in. And I did not realize that, that jumper switching from 12 to 24 volts was there. And this is a 12 volt DC power supply, by the way. Okay, so now your alarm is wired up. If you have an MT like I do, these dip switches set the signal coding. Switches 3 and 4 flipped up, set it on code 3 tone, which is one of my favorite coding options. 
and pretty much the best one in my opinion. And the first dip switch sets it from low to high volume. This one I believe, but I'm only going to keep it on low volume. So, now that that is wired up, plug your power supply in, and then set it off. Let me set this up real quick. Now would be a good time to mute your speakers. In fact, I just might mute my microphone, but... And if, if, a, if a plug is not nearby, you can take an extension cord and plug it in. So take your plug, plug it in, like so, and then set it off. Mute your speakers. Three, two, one. Let's hope it worked. And it did. There we go. In fact, um, I do not have a uh, genuine Simplex B key. See, this particular pull station takes a B key. This is my copy of a B key that I got from a shop on eBay. It's an Ilco copy. You can see that. Come on, focus. There we go. So, yeah. That was my test. And I'm surprised I did something right for once. So, I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.